Having trouble with long division or simplifying fractions? Let's remember these tricks. If the number, the last digit is a zero, two, four, six, eight, yes, if it's even, we know that it's divisible by two. So it's like 258 would be a good example. If we have a number that the sum of the digits it can be divided by three, that means we can divide the whole number by three. So here is an example, 621. If we add those digits, we end up getting a nine divided by three, and we see that that does work. So 621 is divisible by three. If a number last two digits is divisible by four, we have like 324. Well, we know 24 divided by four is six, so four can go evenly into 324. If the number of the last digit is zero or a five, like 605 or 710, we know that we can divide it by five. For if a number um, follows rule number two and rule number three, we do know that it is divisible by six. So an example, rule number two, the it has to be even, okay? And I'm gonna write an even number. And now rule number three says it has to be divisible by three. And we know that nine, if we add those together, is divisible by three. So this number is divisible by six. The last three digits are divisible by eight. So when we're looking at these last three digits is what's going to be important. Um, I have 1016. And I will go ahead and I will notice the last three digits could we divide that by eight? And the answer is yes, we get a two. So we know that we can divide 1016 by eight. The sum of the digits, the digits, excuse me, are divisible, are, you can divide by nine. The sum of the digits, you divide by nine. And so I'm just going to write 2,133. And when I look at that, if I add these together, we do get nine and nine is divisible by nine. So we know that 2,133 can be divided by nine. And the last one, if the last digit is a zero, like 120, like 2,500, we know that 10 goes into it evenly. Hope these tricks help you with your division. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more math with Marsha. See you again soon.